Solarius PV Beam 1 is produced by Akka Software. It's used to design grid-connected photovoltaic system. This is the graphic interface when you open the software. This is the home, so you can create a new project or you can open an existing project. You can view your system information or you can do many other activities. Now, let's see them one by one. From new tab, you can create a new project and you can also choose a new template. So you can design a new single phase system in low voltage, a new three phase system in low voltage, or you can create a new three phase system in medium voltage. Let's take a look to the node structure on the left. Let's go to the open tab. Here you can see sample file. They are very important because they show you the software potential design. Or you can go to the recent documents and see the last document opened, for example. Or you can also look on your folder desktop and find your specific project. Let's see the system info tab. Here you can see your system information. What you can do, you can take a look to your computer's information and figure out if it's compatible with the minimum requirements of Solarius PV, the CPU, monitor, system, and other stuff. Besides, you can print the report of the information or you can just save it. In the option tab, you can choose from default settings. For example, you can set the maximum documents opened in Solarius. We usually set to 20 documents, but you can always change this number. And you can set your backup, backup files and choose obviously your backups folder. So this is very important because you are creating an history of the file. Then you can choose uh, archive and modules. We will talk about the difference about user, documents, and program archive, uh, but during the next lesson. You can also change unit of measurements. You can set the geographic position, the correct geographic position, so you can find exactly Iridian's data. Then you can set the thousand and thousand separators and dec or decimal separators as you see in the, in the window and finally you can also set the project's currency if i choose currency in this tab it means that we are setting the full properties of the project so every project i'm going to create will have this currency set so i can create a new report during my project uh, with a different value. For example, I set dollar at the beginning in this window, but I, I can always set, uh, I can always use um, a specific report, for example, in Euro. Service info is essential because we can see the indispensable videos. Indispensable videos are a specific video created to explain how to move starting a new project. They are like training videos, so are very useful starting a new project, a new designing project. And that's useful, especially for a new user. You can also take a look to the forum or communication by the company. At the top of the page, instead, you can check the program updates. You can check the technical support or access to the forum discussion eventually technical reports or proposed video, question and everything. Or you can properly see video tutorial explaining the software in each section. So let's see them. Let's go in technical support. So in this window we see a new web screen and this is the Solarius PV support. Here we need to describe what kind of problem we are encountering with a software. For example, I want to see the single line diagram layout of the photovoltaic system. 
I can check from all services. Solarius shows you the video tutorial that you can always see and the forum discussion about the problem. If I go in the forum section, I can look for a specific problem or discussion and I can always watch the proposed video. If I go to the video tutorial section, I can look between all video and take a look to the topic interest so I can understand how to continue and design the photovoltaic system.